Jordan Diving Officer is an uh, individual who's scuba qualified, who does recompression chamber operations, who does surface applied operations, and then uh, is familiar with the Mark 16 uh, rebreather. So it's the uh, full spectrum of diving uh, for, that our force is required to support. The Joint Diving Officer is uh, in the EUD Officer Pipeline, so you come out of a commissioning source, you go through dive school down in Panama City, Florida, and you're going to be going through the Joint Diving Officer course of instruction, which is about a six month uh, long course of instruction. And then following that, then you're going to go through EUD school and then TAC training and then eventually get to your first mobile unit. Navy EOD officers are the ones who are in charge of the extraordinary diving and salvage community. Uh, we are one and the same. Uh, so as an 1140 EOD officer, I'm the commanding officer of the mobile diving and salvage unit for the East Coast. We are in an interesting transition as we, as we move away from the counterterrorism wars of the past 20 years as we go towards the great power competition and near-peer competitor. So the joint diving officer uh, course of instruction is, uh, is there to make sure that we are a well-rounded individual. So diving is a critical component of what we do for the fleet. So it's not just the counter WMD and the counter IED mission that we support, but we also support a substantial amount of fleet requirements on the expeditionary diving and salvage side of the house. So that joint diving officer uh, understanding and capability is critical to that uh, broad stroke, broad spectrum capability that we, that we are projecting out to the fleet. For folks that are about to start the, the pipeline into the EOD officer and those who are about to uh, go to the joint uh, diving officer course of instruction, my recommendation would be uh, to ensure that they're comfortable in the water because uh, you're going to be in the water a good portion of the time. Also, work on your physical fitness, to specifically your upper body strength. Uh, most of the time, uh, that's going to be the things that are that are hindering the, the candidates the most is the upper body strength. Obviously the cardio and things of that nature, but upper body strength definitely is an issue. Um, and then, yeah, just be prepared to have a good time because it's, uh, it's a good time over there. JDO is, I mean, it really is the, the thing that we have, we have gone away from for, for a long time. And as we look at what the fight of the future is going to hold for us, the JDO capability is coming back into focus, right? So it wasn't a thing for a while because we went towards the counterterrorism requirement and we needed the throughput. And then the JDO requirement, we recognized that it was, it was important. So now we're, it's back on the table and uh, it's part of the pipeline for a reason.